we have discovered a very low mass planet. In fact, it is the lowest mass ever discovered. It's only five times the mass of the Earth. This planet is probably a rocky planet, maybe 50% larger than the Earth, so a very low mass planet, orbiting the star with a period of 13 days. Uh, this planet is very exciting because at the distance of the planet from the star, we expect water to be present on the surface of the planet. And when you speak about water, you may speak about life. Scientists find promising superhabitable planets that may be better than Earth. On Earth, there is life virtually everywhere there is liquid water. As such, the hunt for extraterrestrial life has focused on so-called habitable or Goldilocks zones, areas around stars temperate enough for planets to possess liquid water on their surfaces. Since Earth is the only inhabited world known, this planet is usually the focus of studies on habitability. However, scientists have reason that worlds other than Earth-like ones could offer conditions suitable for life to emerge and evolve. Such worlds might even prove super habitable or even have better chances at hosting life than Earth. How many more years will Earth be habitable? Are there planets more habitable than Earth? What is the most habitable planet besides Earth? What are other factors that could make a planet super habitable? Before we begin, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. The researchers created a set of criteria for planets to qualify as potentially superhabitable. This list includes an age of between 5 billion and 8 billion years old, Earth is about 4.5 billion years old, and a location within a star's habitable zone where liquid water could exist. They also looked for long-lived stars that are cooler than our sun. Rather than focus on Earth clones, the team searched for planets that are more massive than our own. One that's about 1.5 times Earth's mass would be expected to retain its interior heating through radioactive decay longer and would also have a stronger gravity to retain an atmosphere over a longer period of time. So, what makes a planet super habitable? We know that Earth's warmer regions have greater biological diversity, so a planet somewhat warmer than Earth could host more life. That might not make it very comfortable for humans, but that's not the point. Likewise, the team looked for exoplanets that are about 1.5 times as massive as our home planet. These worlds are more likely to have a dense atmosphere and there would be more surface area for life to occupy. The star an exoplanet orbits is also an important factor. The Sun is a yellow dwarf, and it does a good job of keeping Earth livable, but maybe this isn't the best kind of star for life. The Sun has a lifespan of about 9 billion years, and we've only got another billion years or so before it heats up and boils Earth like an egg. If you're playing the odds, planets that orbit longer-lived stars like orange dwarfs could have a higher chance of hosting life. A new study from researchers at Washington State University announced on October 5, 2020, makes the case that there may well be planets out there that have conditions even more favorable for life than our own. Out of the over 4,000 currently known exoplanets, the researchers also narrowed those down to 24 candidate superhabitable planets that could be even better suited for life than Earth. Massive exomoons could be superhabitable because they offer a rich diversity of energy sources to a potential biosphere. Unlike life on Earth, which is powered primarily by the sun's life, the biosphere of a superhabitable exomoon might also draw energy from the reflected light and emitted heat of its nearby giant planet, or even from the giant planet's gravitational field. As a moon orbits around a giant planet, 
tidal forces can cause its crust to flex back and forth, creating friction that heats the moon from within. This phenomenon of tidal heating is probably what creates the subsurface oceans thought to exist on Jupiter's Europa and Saturn's moon Enceladus. That said, this energetic diversity would be a double-edged sword for a massive exomoon because slight imbalances among the overlapping energy sources could easily tip a world into an uninhabitable state. No exomoons, habitable or otherwise, have yet been detected with certainty, although some may sooner or later be revealed by archival data from observatories such as NASA's Kepler Space Telescope. For the time being, the existence and possible habitability of these objects remain quite speculative. Superhabitable planets, on the other hand, may already exist within our catalog of confirmed and candidate exoplanets. The first exoplanets found in the mid-1990s were all gas giants, similar in mass to Jupiter and orbiting far too close to their stars to harbor any life. Yet, as planet hunting techniques have improved over time, astronomers have begun finding progressively smaller planets in wider, more clement orbits. Most of the planets discovered over the past few years are so-called super-Earths, planets larger than Earth by up to 10 Earth masses, with radii between Earth and Neptune. These planets have proved to be extremely common around other stars, Yet, we have nothing like them orbiting the Sun, making our own solar system appear to be a somewhat atypical outlier. All in all, the scientists identified 24 potentially superhabitable planets. None of them meet the criteria the researchers drew up for superhabitable planets, but one did meet at least two. KOI 5715.01 a planet about 5.5 billion years old and 1.8 to 2.4 times Earth's diameter, orbiting an orange dwarf about 2,965 light years away, it might have an average surface temperature about 4.3 degrees Fahrenheit, 2.4 degrees Celsius, cooler than Earth, but it has more greenhouse gases than Earth to trap heat. It might be superhabitable, they said. Schultz Marcucci's favorite potentially superhabitable world from these 24 was KOI 5554.01, a world that's about 6.5 billion years old, 0.72 to 1.29 times Earth's diameter, orbiting a yellow dwarf about 700 light years from Earth. I really liked the average surface temperature, about 27 degrees Celsius, or 80 degrees Fahrenheit, Schultz Makuch said, and it's probably about Earth's size and a little bit older than Earth. All 24 of these potentially superhabitable planets are more than 100 light years from Earth. This makes them too far for NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, TESS, to capture high-quality images to learn more about them. Still, Schultz Makuch noted that future spacecraft, such as NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, NASA's Luvior Space Observatory, and the European Space Agency's Plato Telescope, could shed light on these worlds. We caution that while we search for superhabitable planets, that doesn't mean that they necessarily contain life. Schultz Makuch said, a planet can be habitable or superhabitable, but uninhabited. None of these potentially superhabitable worlds is closer than 100 light years, and so at present, they are inaccessible to further high quality observations. But there may well be more superhabitable planets in the current list of known exoplanets. If such a world is found in our stellar neighborhood, it deserves a higher priority than Earth-like planets for follow-up observations.